Hello, everyone. So I've had some questions about um, how to use some components of Seesaw. For instance, how can I do um, a video recording maybe that I do at home that I want to share with my students? So I'm going to show you that process very quickly here. So the first thing you want to do is go to the Seesaw website and log in. If you have an account, you can go ahead and log in with your account. Um, you're going to say that I'm a teacher and I'm an actually a teacher sign in with Google. Then I'm going to go ahead and pick my Google account. And I'm going to bring it's bring me to my uh, home page or my um, my uh, dashboard. So what I'm going to do to to do some kind of a video, let's say I'm a music teacher and I want to be able to present some music to students, or let's say I'm a um, a uh, art teacher and I want to show some art to students, or PE to show someone how to uh, maybe it could be swinging a bat, um, it could be kicking a ball, p passing a ball. Um, what if you're in class and you want to show or just say hi to your students? So we're going to go ahead and click add. And then we're going to say assign activity. And then once we click assign activity, we're going to create a new activity. And when we create the new activity, we're going to go up here and we're going to type in our activity. So this is going to be video to say hello. And then there really aren't any instructions, but maybe you can say, um, let me know how you are doing. And then we're going to say add multimedia instructions or example. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then I'm going to click video. Once I click video, I'm on video. And I'll be able to go ahead and start recording myself. So there's a little camera here, a little camera here, a little camera here. So I'm going to click that one. And it says it wants to use my microphone, so I'm going to say allow. And it's going to give me a countdown. Hi, students. I just wanted to check in to see how everybody's doing. Um, it's great to see you all. Um, I hope you're well. Bye-bye. And then you click the pause button. <clears throat> Once that's done, you get the little flashing light. So if you need to take a break, you want to record some more, you get um, five minutes total per video. So when you're done recording, you can go ahead and click done. And it does take a few seconds for it to render. Um, you can go ahead and watch it. Make sure it says what it, you want it to say. Um, so we can play that back. So I'm going to pause that. It looks good. I think it's great. I'm going to go ahead and click the check mark. It's going to now upload that. See, there's my example. And then what you can do is you can add a template for student responses here. So this could be a document. It could be um, a, a poster or something that you want them to fill out. It could be just a little sheet that's, you know, ask them how they're doing and they can write on it um, or type on it. Um, so you would go there. Again, you could add a video here as well. Um, you can do a drawing, a photo, upload uh, something from Google Drive or from your computer itself. Just go ahead and add a note there. Any, you know, lots of different things. Link it to another video that maybe you found and you want students to see. Um, so that's, that's where you can do that. I'm going to click the X to get out of there. And then I'm going to save it. Once I'm done saving it, it's going into my library. And I can go ahead and click assign. And when I assign it, it's going to be published out to my students and they'll be able to see it. And then I can collect their responses. I hope this helps with that process of how to upload videos to Seesaw. Um, hopefully uh, you enjoy this and it comes to use to you. Thank you. Have a good night.